Hey, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography, and I have a quick unboxing video of this. A lovely little grey box. Now, this is actually the bike, I think that's how you pronounce it, B-E-I-K-E, -E, uh, panoramic ball head, usually bought from eBay, like I bought this one. Um, and the reason that I did buy it is because it's one, affordable, and two, it's got a panoramic feature so that you can lock your ball head in place. It's Arca Swiss compatible, that's my third reason. Um, and it's got a ball head you can lock the head in place, you can get your tripod level and then you can spin it from the base of the ball head which um, allows you to do steady panoramas without potentially losing uh, where, your, where your horizon line is and getting those stitching errors that really are a pain when you're trying to do a panorama without a panoramic ball head. So this little box, it just arrived. Um, I'm going to open it up. I ordered it from eBay. Uh, it was only, I think, about 32 Australian dollars, which <laughs> for a ball head in Australia is very cheap. So it's it's a little heavy-ish, um, but compared to other ball heads, it's pretty light. The packaging, there's really not a lot. It's literally an empty cardboard box that I just throw away. Um, and then another plastic bag I'll throw away and then here we go so uh, quick first sort of impression uh, it comes with its own little uh, base plate which is nice um, so if you don't have an Arca Swiss base plate you get one uh, I've got a I just bought an L bracket for my camera so that's uh, one reason that I'm getting this as well so I actually have four reasons I didn't even realize that anyway um, so here you've got two little twisty knobs. Um, from what I can see they both say lock and free on here and as far as I can tell they do just about exactly the same thing. So I think they, I have no idea why they actually did this. Um, it does seem to just lock it up so one could be the friction, one can just be for moving around, it's completely up to you how you want to use it. Uh, a nice little feature is you've got this, a spirit level built into the ball head which is awesome. Um, I've got my little tripod so um, this might come in handy but I've also got a built in level in the camera. And then this is the nifty little feature that I really bought this for. It's this, so I can lock this plate into, into place and then I can actually just spin the ball head on its base rather than having to keep that unlocked and spin it on the ball which then makes it wobble. Um, another little thing is just here you've got a gap in the in the metal boundary ring that tells you the degree so you can move a specific amount of degrees each shot you want to do um, and it, that helps a lot with panoramas. So it seems like a pretty sturdy ball head um, it's nice and solid, it's metal, uh, which is great, and these, these spinny locks seem to do actually a really good job um, of, of holding the thing in place, but I will do a review of this little ball head once I've actually had a chance to go out and play with it, um, and do some panoramas and, and get some shots, because that's something that I've been doing a lot more lately, so uh, I wanted to invest in the gear to get the best results that I possibly could. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick unboxing of the bike, bake, beak, something like that, um, ball head. They are very cheap little ball heads and for the quality it's an all metal build um, and it just seems awesome so far. Oh, and um, the mount is the 3 8 thread, uh, not a standard quarter thread which is on most light stands but on general tripods you've got that um, that screw in adapter there anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to know what you think. Um, if you'd like to see something else unboxed or reviewed, please let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.